Okay, more cat, more cats. No, this one's so cute. So, so Strider's now asleep in my chair. You saw him earlier. And of course, Nan likes to scratch at the door and here she goes, into my chair, into my chair. Okay, so I stay pretty well organized. A lot of this gets put away when I'm done. I don't actually put my everyday makeup on in here. I use this for special. So if I'm going out fancy, I wanna sit in natural lighting and do a look or, you know, for filming tutorials and stuff. But I stay pretty organized. Uh, the majority of my furniture is Ikea, so that pink table is Ikea, the lamp, and then this desk is an Ikea desk. And over here I have this awesome cabinet. It's called a Helmer from Ikea, and I'm probably going to get another one of these. It's six drawers. And this is the catch-all for makeup that I don't use every day. So a lot of bronzers and powders and blushes on the top shelf. All of my loose pigments and glitter and... Uh, Sometimes rhinestones will sit up in here, but lots of glitter, lots of loose pigments, lots of loose eyeshadows. I kind of keep in here. It's easier for me to get at than in the closet that I have in the hallway. Um, lipsticks and lip glosses. I don't really have a big collection of this stuff because I don't wear it every day. I do wear it for special. I wear it for the tutorials. Um, but for the most part, I'm a lip balm girl and maybe a light lip color or lip gloss for during the day. Another catch-all drawer for theatrical makeup and stuff, powder and sharpeners and brushes that I don't use every day. My directions on covering my eyebrows. <laughs> and another drawer of uh, eyelashes, which I've started to get a little bit of a collection of. I've discovered that I actually kind of like wearing them even though I have naturally long eyelashes. Uh, and then another catch-all drawer of theatrical makeup and makeup that I don't wear every day for fantasy looks, things like that. So that's how I stay organized here. Okay, so then I have another bin that I keep under the desk. And this holds my rhinestones and stuff, if I can get it open for you. So I just kind of keep them all in a bin. Tin. And then uh, a couple palettes that I have. This is a Mayron palette that, that I always talk about, that Paradise palette. And then I just recently invested in a Krylon palette. This is a neon green color. Neon colors, I'm sorry, there is a neon green in it, but neon colors, I haven't used it yet. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but it was kind of fun. Thought I'd give Krylon a try. I probably should have gotten just a standard palette. Uh, I'd also like to try Ben Nye. I think Ben Nye pigments are great. So this is a giant bin that holds all of my crafty stuff, and I'll probably have to get another one at some point. So in here I keep things like felt for cutouts, fabric, things like palms, you know, cotton poms or material pom poms. This is a bag of multi sizes and multi colors. Pipe cleaners and feathers, sequined ribbon, ribbon and cord, you name it, it's in here. Feathers, all kinds of good stuff. And what I do is I just kind of stow things when I'm done. Here's my tail. <laughs> That's the tail from my lion costume. <laughs> This is a way to keep everything kind of stowed and out of the way, and then I have it on hand when I'm ready to use it. So that's what I do with that stuff. Just a bin from like Big Lots or Walmart, you know, four or five dollars, keep you organized, keep things neat, not so messy. Another bin that I keep under my desk is my nail color bin, and this is just a box that I got from Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx for four or five bucks, and it's just paper and it's magnetized on the front. It's a good size, I think it's perfect for holding all my nail colors. Let me pop that open for you. So in here I keep like my toe pillows, that's what my husband calls them, toe spacers, cotton pads for removing nail color, emery boards, cuticle oil, all that stuff. You can see it's such a nice organized container, don't you think? <laughs> Not so much. Um, like I was telling you before, I wear a lot of Sally Hansen and that is simply because it's inexpensive. You can often get it, buy one, get one free from any supermarket or drugstore chain. Often I'll have coupons, so then you get two for less than the price of one. All kinds of fun colors. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I think I'm going to give away a bottle of this for my contest just because I love that green. Blues and purples and nail treatments. And also in here I do have some OPI nail colors. Again, when they're on sale, I'll buy them more. If they have a really pretty color, I'll add to the collection. It's the quickest and easiest way to change your look your makeup and your nail color. Oh, and your accessories too. This is fun, a friend of mine from England, Rowan sent me Barry M nail colors. I think they're pretty good too. I like their silver. Somebody sent me Gosh silver nail lacquer. I love this stuff. Again, I think Rowan sent that to me. Brands from England that we don't easily get here. 
I do have some matte nail colors, but you know what? I'm not really, I'm not as impressed with them. This is kind of collectors now, the Hello Kitty, that pink color and then the gray. I, I've never even worn those, but I have a few others that I have tried to wear. Uh, Violet Fire was a good color. Let's see if that's in here still. That, I love that color. I think that held up really well when I wore it, but unfortunately I don't think the MAC formulas go on as nicely as some of the Sally Hansen. Sally Hansen has really developed their collection. So that is my nail colors. I'd like to get one of those hanging clear acrylic things to hang on the wall. I think that'd be a great way to, to stow and organize so that I could see exactly what I have in my collection. Okay, so I don't keep all of my makeup stowed in my studio. My everyday stuff I keep in a hall closet next to my bathroom. Hopefully there's enough light so that you can see because it's not really well lit out here. And um, this is just a shelf in the linen closet. It's easy for me to access. It's easy to keep things organized. So things like my Urban Decay palette usually live out here along with other little palettes that I might have. So I have a Get Baked from Urban Decay and then a Sleek palette. And then my MAC eyeshadow quads. You'll see I do keep the little collection that I have in quads. I don't like the larger containers. If you drop it, you're going to break them all. But also you can't really see what's in your palette. And often if I'm on the go, I'm rushing, I want to be able to see what I have and make a choice really quickly. So like all my greens, pinks and purples and golds and metallics, blacks and browns are all kind of organized, similar shades, highlight colors. And I can just come in here and grab really quickly what I want, make a quick decision, and get going with getting my makeup on. And I do wear makeup for my job. I am a professional librarian, so I like to present myself and keep myself stylish and put together. I also keep out here my eyeliners. I have all these catch-all drawers from Big Lots, very easy to access. So like all my eyeliners, things that I use on a regular basis are kept here and then on the, you know, in secondary drawers like liquid liner versus pencil. And then a catch-all for things that I might not use. So here, my mineralized eyeshadows live out here. I have a few of the quads from the Makeup Arts Cosmetics Collection and from the Mischief Magic and Mirth, though I'm probably saying that wrong. A couple of those mineralized eyeshadow duos. That was from Metal X last year. So these are colors that I tend to wear regularly. Purples and uh, golds and metallics on my eyes for every day. Kind of subtle, but you know, a little pop of color on the eye is kind of nice. Some Urban Decay loose eyeshadows that I haven't depotted. Actually, some of them are, they're the same size as the MAC pans, so I'll stick them in a MAC quad palette, again, to be able to see some other loose shadows that I've purchased that I haven't depotted yet, so that's vanilla. I love Urban Decay eyeshadows. If I haven't told you, I think I told you earlier, Anne of Anne or Shine and I have agreed that Urban Decay really has some nice colors and some nice collections, and you get your money's worth. Some paint pot samples, easy for me to use. Marks, good to go. And then over here, my mascaras. And I use a few different kinds. I test them out since they're inexpensive and easy to replace. BOGO, buy one, get one free. Um, this is what I use predominantly right now. Uh, the Rimmel Sexy Curves and L'Oreal's Collagen Lash. Uh, this is a new Rimmel Mascara Max. I kind of like that. And then um, Lash Blast. Eh, eh I'm, jury's still out on it. My brushes usually live out here along with the powders that I use regularly. So Clarins Bronzer, Urban Decay Big Bronzer, Rimmel Sun Bronzer. Blot powder from MAC, skin, min, skin, min, mineralized skin finish natural, and then also um, just skin finish that actually has some color to it and sheen, so this is warmed. I love that for just, you know, brightening up my face. Some perfumes, some Q-tips, and that is about it. Uh, that's about it. That's all of my makeup. Yep, that another common occurrence in my studio when I'm trying to film stuff. A cat who wants to be outside in the middle of winter, scratching at the window and saying, Why? Why, Mommy, is the window closed? What's your matter? What's your matter? Go say hi. Go say hi. What's your matter? Say hi. Okay, not so much, huh? All right. Well, there you have it. That is my behind the scenes of uh, my studio. You can see cat behind me. Yes, that's a common occurrence. Say happy girl. Is a happy girl? What's your matter? <laughs> so there you have it. <laughs> Cat tail. 
that is the behind the scenes of my studio and kind of how I keep things organized and uh, it's a lot of fun to share that with you. I hope you've enjoyed it. I still have a cattail on my head. <laughs> Happy New Year guys and I'll see you real soon. Bye!